Hey everybody, Todd and Sarah from Living Hope. Where there's always hope with God. Okay, Todd, it's not a trick question. It's just a question. If you had to choose between two roles, being a leader or a follower, which one would you choose? It's a trick question. <laughs> it's not a trick question. <laughs> well, I think that most people say they want to be leaders, but I think most people are more comfortable being a follower. You know, there's less stress and less decisions to be made. You know, leaders on the hook and responsible. It's not easy to be a leader. It's for not sure. easy to be a leader. Yeah, and uh, biblically as well, like it's tough. There's passages about, you know, how careful you have to be when you are a leader. Um, so when you have someone in your circle of influence mm -hmm. that is a leader, right. it's very, very, very important that you support them. Right. Yeah, and it's kind of a, a daunting task. I think if we were to re-ask that question, instead of say, would you rather be a leader or a follower, and we were to say, would you rather be a leader of a church <laughs> or a leader of a company or an employee or a follower, I think most people are happier sitting in a pew than they are speaking up front. You right? have to give a lot of credit and yes. again, support to the people who decide that they're going to stand up. And um, our Bible says a little bit something about that as well in Hebrews, Hebrews thirteen seventeen. You want to read it for us? Sure. Yeah, and this is English Standard Version, but it reads, Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning. For that would be of no advantage to you. Wow. To have joy in your life versus to be groaning all the time, that is something that is a lot easier to do when you have supportive people around you. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, you know, keep in mind, we're not just talking about pastors, but we're talking about the person that takes the initiative because that's leading. Your boss. Right. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it applies to everything, really. Your parents. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I hope this is something uh, for you to think about, and I hope you get something out of it. Amen to that. Have a blessed day.